Today on the program, a profession on the brink of arts and crafts, the ability to breathe life into metal and stone, and to create an elegant piece of art from coarse material, or a story about the most famous jewelers of Kazakhstan. There is a special kind of art which combines precious materials, sometimes with huge property value, refined taste and design of the creator, granting a final product with great artistic value and extensive knowledge in a variety of craft areas. It is not a coincidence that in historical research people pay great attention to the work of jewelers, which sometimes evaluate the whole era. And certainly our descendants, while watching the remarkable works of the Kazakhstan jeweler, Istai Daubayev will appreciate reviving the ancient nomadic culture of the people and the country's overall development. His creations are imbued with. My grandmother, My grandmother, who brought me up from a young age and I called her mom, was a handy woman. She could sew, knit and weave. I don't remember now, but I was a child and she made me sit next to her and draw or help her instead of playing in the yard with other little boys. From an early age I was involved in this craft. Of course, when it was time to choose his path in life, Istai Daubayev already had some idea of his inclinations and abilities. Therefore, he did not even have any questions what he would do. I had an adult mind at 15 and understood I must choose a profession, and the first thing I had in mind was that I could paint. All wallpapers and magazines were drawn at that times in schools, so I was responsible for that, and I even had an assistant who was in a younger grade. I graduated from the Almaty Art College in the section Metal Artist. Then I entered Agatehi, it is the current Academy of Arts, into the Sculpture Faculty. After that I graduated from the university named after a Bai. Many creative people who have a talent for artistic disciplines have difficulties in choosing one specific occupation. His Thai easily solved this issue. It seemed to me that metal is something for men. I mean, the word metal covers hammer works, founding, you need to make some relief works, eliquation, and I thought it was work for men and was a man-like profession. But then I found out that a metal artist is something that requires soft hands in order to make ornaments. Expression, metal artist, is elastic, that he can make tiny ornaments and big forged products. Another contribution to the box of artistic knowledge of the jeweler was his work with old products that Estai restored in the Central State Museum of Kazakhstan. For a long time I had worked as a restorer on the metal in the Central Museum of Kazakhstan and there was enough material in storage exposure, and we often faced rare things, and maybe at that time I gained some patriotic qualities, or love to our art, folk and traditional art. As you have noticed, 80% of my works contains a traditional and national mood. Work in the museum helped me because I had constant contact with the individual products, always saw new ones because they change exposure, and we restored them. Then in the 90s, when the government began to purchase everything from people, we saw and had so many things restored.
It is very important that any artist find his recognition in order that his works find not only its audience, but also the consumer. And for the jeweler, it is vital because his products are from affordable to expensive materials. My first work was a silver ring in the national style. It was in 1993. It is interesting to notice that I finished my work at the evening and in the morning I brought it to the Atakent International Exhibition, where different souvenirs and handmade things were exhibited. I remember it was my single ring I made, and I even didn't make it to show to sellers. One man came and bought it. We can say that this successful premier inspired Istai. He saw that his works were in demand, especially because it was very difficult to start. A more or less serious jewelry production requires an impressive working capital, and the artist had no such capital, but there were significant social responsibilities. There were problems with money. You're doing everything, but these problems are still with you. And there is the question to start something new, to change profession into something useful that would bring profit to you and your family. Since I was the eldest, I had to help everybody in my family, my brothers and parents. I had a dilemma, what to do. Of course, I could do both, but there is one rule in business, do what you do best, and I kept my way. Estai did not give up and remaining faithful to his jewelry vocation was a big success for the modern art of Kazakhstan. He was not only able to revive many of the traditional jewelry nomads, but also enrich them with his artistic vision. Sometimes people start with locally available materials. For example, I found one unworked stone and while working, the stone prompts you in what you will do with it further. Initially, I had an idea to make things, symbols of power like weapons and belts. Then I understood that jewelry items are also in demand, maybe even in more demand than manly things. Then I created two directions at the same time. Sometimes I get up with the idea what to do today and I'm happy that I'm doing something that people do like. There was no moment when my things lied around me and nobody needed it. My work always finds its owner. Belts, guns, hunting horns, scepters and canes, earrings, necklaces and rings, bracelets and sao kilea. Hundreds of works, each of which is individual and unique. When you look at the master's work, it seems that his imagination is boundless and his hands do not know rest. So many ways to achieve the state to create. Having a rest, of course, enjoying nature is necessary. Keeping yourself in top shape is necessary as well. Since my work is connected with chemicals, it often happens that at work we forget to open windows, to ventilate the room or go out to breathe fresh air. Just a person gets hooked. In the morning till late night he works in the studio. And sometimes my alarm watch lets me know when I have to stand up and go home.
Behind every product, there are hundreds of hours of work. Work with metal, stone, and leather. Goldsmith today makes not only the product, but also the exclusive cases. No less individual than the actual jewelry work. It takes about two weeks for intermediate goods and formation. Founding takes about six months. Usually if I finish some part of work, I pass for something else. I always make several units at the same time. Actually, my work covers everything, wrought iron and turning stones. Then we pack finished units, it is paper, leather and wood. The studio of Istai Daubayev now became a kind of family business and an entire jewelry dynasty is formed around it. I hadn't involved them for a long time. Each was engaged in his own business. Then it turned that I was making good results and good profits in my business. Therefore, I needed assistance. Why should I hire unfamiliar people if I have my family? So I gave a job to them as well as financial support. Today, I have a team of my family and friends. We've made a team that more or less consists of my family. I give them direction, advice, well, of course, under my direction. All that is done, it is done through my sketches, my compositions, and my ideas. Surprisingly, the name of the artist and jeweler Istai Daubayev became known in France, Germany, and the United Arab Emirates since the 90s, where his work has been exhibited in the most famous shows, and only after some time, when he was noticed in Kazakhstan, the master held a solo exhibition at the Museum of the First President. I achieved what I planned and even couldn't dream about it. I became a Knight of the Order of Karl Fabergé of an international fund. Last year I was awarded the title of Honored RK. For the artist, it is a huge success. Many people say that this is the limit, that he can have a rest now. But I'm not the kind of person to achieve the same level and relax. The well-known collector and philanthropist Tretyakov said that the artist must be hungry, at the same time considering creative hunger, reluctance to be satisfied with the result, the desire to create each time a new way. And Istai Daubayev is fully consistent with this catchphrase. Often I have a question, did I succeed as a jeweler? And now to tell you the truth, sometimes I feel the success, happiness as an artist. I want to work. My works are loved by people and it brings great pleasure. Of course, I have many ideas and plans to realize. If I keep this way of working, I hope that I will have more success in the future. Thank you.